Hey y'all, so this is part of part two. I'm about to start getting some of the stuff that's gonna be in our room together. Like this cart right here. This cart that I'm gonna be using for like his essentials and stuff like that. <clears throat> I need to get it together. We got so much stuff on it. Like bottle brushes, stuff that I need to use and put other way elsewhere. A pack of samples. I could take this to the hospital. Hmm. Some of this stuff I could take to the hospital with me. Like this little Cetaphil baby. And get down I think they're going to have most of this stuff though but a little bit of this I'll take those two with me just in case they have a brand that I don't like so it's like a little aquaphor pack so it's the aquaphor pack and Cetaphil baby little sample. I think um, I think the hospital may have Johnson and Johnson products, and I'm not quite sure I want to use them. Even though um, I'm sure someone bought us some Johnson and Johnson products, um, I'm not gonna waste them. Obviously, I'm probably gonna use those, but I'm not gonna be buying it for my child. <clears throat> Mostly, I'm gonna try to stick to like Cetaphil or um, Burt's Bees or Mustela. This Mustela brand, I bought like a little kit, a whole kit. I want to use this stuff. I like the way it smells and I like that it's uh, organic and it has like good ingredients for the most part. So I want to use this, but I don't know if my baby is going to like it or not. So. I have this, I have some Dove, I got a little bit of every brand, this sample of the Cetaphil, I'm going to use that, um, just to see what he agree with, what he don't. As far as shampoo, I got the Shea, Shea Moisture, just because this is the type of stuff I put on my hair anyway, so I feel the Shea Moisture Baby will probably be good to go with. We got... Diaper rash cream, um, shampoo. Oh shoot, I didn't realize I already had shampoo from like Mustela, but this is for newborns and with cradle cap, so it won't hurt to have more than one. And what is this? This is like almost a sample size of the um, no rinse cleansing water. One of their biggest products. So, I want to organize this, get some of this stuff together. We got a few different gripe waters, I'm, I, I think. Here's one. We have the Wellmints, which is what I put on my register. I put the Wellmints brand. And then someone gifted me the Mommy's Bliss gripe water. So, I have two different kinds. To try we got Dustin diaper rash cream this is the aquaphor uh, baby version of aquaphor so we got that um, I'm gonna keep that one at home and I'm gonna take this little sample to the hospital uh, pacifier wipes we got those and his, oh, his hush stop sound machine we got that uh what else at the bottom is some books so i'm gonna clean it all up oh and this is my um right here this is my pregnancy support band that i never wore and he got a pack of socks that somehow i missed when i was washing all the socks i missed these so these are nice i might need to go ahead and wash those because they can go with some of the outfits he's taking. 
So I'm going to clean this off with some Lysol wipes and then I'm going to get this reorganized um, in a way that, you know, I'll feel comfortable. I'm Good morning, y'all. So it's nine o'clock. It's Sunday the twenty-sixth, and I started having contractions, mild contractions, last night about seven, and I just woke up literally. So I crest of my eyes, just woke up. It's nine, like I said, and mm, I just start moving around. So I feel a little bit of them coming on. I'm gonna try to walk around, bounce on my ball, and kind of like be active. Hopefully to get the labor going, and hopefully we'll be at the hospital in the next couple of hours or so. So I think we're getting some action. I think we're getting some action. I need to have some action because we are the day after my due date today is the 26th and this little boy was supposed to be born by yesterday so we're gonna try to get him out of here by Tuesday I have an appointment with my doctor on Tuesday the 28th and I'm not trying to go to it so um, I'm about to walk around my house eat I don't know clean up do little stuff just to move because I feel like moving makes the contractions go ahead and come. Like I've been laying down all night. So I had a few in the middle of the night. But I think they're going to be more intense the more I move and stuff. So I'll be exercising, walking on the ball, walking up and down the stairs and stuff like I did on yesterday. So that's what I'll be doing. I'll keep you guys updated. Hey y'all. So it's a new day. Today is Monday, September 27 and it's 8 30 in the morning i've been having contractions for probably about like the last hour uh no last hour and a half two hours they've been about 10 minutes 10 minutes apart so i'm i've been um going through these and so that's i'm about to get ready to take a shower because um i think it's time we need to actually probably go to the hospital here in the next hour or two. So, I'll keep you guys updated on what happens. But, let me show y'all. These are the contractions I've had so far this morning. All these contractions from 6.48 to 8.27. I've had those. They've been about 45 seconds ish long so I'm gonna take a shower I'm gonna get ready for the hospital and I'll be back all right y'all I'm so I'm out the shower dressed I got on this little dress I got oil stain on it but whatever I'm about to put on a jean jacket and we're about to head to the hospital because um, I called my doctor and she just said head over to the hospital so that's what we're about to do ready to go meet your son Make sure you get fresh breath for him. Hello, 
Hi, I'm picking up an order for Robbie Lee for curbside in spot number two. Okay. They are currently still working on it, but as soon as they're ready, we'll bring it right out. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Ooh, I think he's about to come another one, but... <sighs> Hmm. Oh, an outlet, yeah. Oh, oh. We just got some food then. We are what, five minutes away from the hospital. And hopefully we're gonna have a baby here in the next few hours. We just picked up some food right here. City side though. I got this. What is this? I got it's some type of almond toast. And I got an acai bowl. My last meal, peanuts last meal in the room. Last meal in the room. So, made it in here, labor and delivery, checked in, just waiting on my husband to come in, he just parked in the car, so, hopefully, we'll be meeting baby Lennox soon, because these contractions are getting much stronger, and they hurt. This is our room, got a little TV. Got a daddy on the way. Dad on duty. Dad on duty. It's the bed. This is where the baby gonna be at right here. When him comes out. Oh. Can you see if I'm having a contraction on there? I know I gotta be because, like, on that little thing, I gotta be because it hurt. My, it don't hurt, but my booty, it feel like a lot of pressure in my butt. Hmm. You don't know what's happening. We here, we are doing this thing today. We having a baby today. I got the upper drawer now, so I feel a, little bit, a lot better. I ain't gonna even say a little bit better. I feel a lot better. But I'm so cold. I don't know. Um, what else happened? They, they broke my water. After they broke my water, Oh, it felt like hell. What else? That first contraction. Mm, that first contraction after they broke my water. Terrible. Now I'm just thinking about my moochies. Thinking about my dog. You need to be thinking about I'm thinking about him too, but it's, I'm thinking moochies is sad by his too. Right. You don't know what's happening. But I'm so cold, y'all. I'll give an update when we get some more information. Right now, I just feel good. My legs feel warm and tingly. Yeah. Congratulations, you guys. Thank you so much. 
guys um so i'm back it is september 28th and my son was born yesterday september 27th at 4 41 p.m and he is doing well i'm doing well we're both doing great he's sleeping right now while i i just kind of got myself together got the room together a little bit and now i'm relaxing um, trying to not fall asleep, which I probably should be asleep, but just, um, trying to, you know, get my thoughts together, do things, um, little stuff that I've been having to do around the room while my husband went out and ran an errand for us. So we do, we are doing great. Like he was born, um, no complications, pretty much vaginally. Well, besides I had a tear, there were no complications for the birth. Um, what else? What else? Um, he was eight pounds. Oh, child, I did not think my little five foot one, 130 pound self was going to give birth to an eight pound baby, but I did. And it's worth it. All the tears and everything, it's definitely worth it. And so let me introduce y'all to Lennox. His name is Lennox. And he is the the sweetest baby. Like he's the most perfect baby ever. I would I wouldn't I wouldn't change this for the world. So let me show y'all Lennox. Hold on. Alright, so there's baby Lennox. All swaddled up in his swaddle. He is so precious, y'all, and he barely, um, like, cries or anything. Of course, he's doing a lot of sleeping, but he has a lot happening today. He got circumcised today. Um, he had his hearing test. He passed both ears. Perfect. Um, and, you know, just in and out there checking his temperature checking his um breathing and all that his vitals so he's been bothered a lot today and he's doing well so we're happy about that i'm doing well i'm healing well and so i just wanted to give you guys an update and i'll talk to you later